Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Teenage Pregnancy Eliana's Way. As you guys know, in the last video, we went to the festival to have fun with our friends and then Eliana saw Scott kissing on some female. We don't know who she is. So that's where we ended it. She has not spoken to Scott since. Um, so in this episode, we're really going to begin to the bottom of that. Her parents also invited her over on Sunday. They're going to have a family dinner, but they also invited Scott and his family. And Eliana did not know about that until her mom called to let her know. So now she feels like she needs to talk to Scott before they go to dinner and then because she knows that dinner is just going to be a catastrophe if she continues to let these feelings keep brewing the way they are. So we are going to finish letting my girl eat because she's extremely hungry. And then we are going to try and invite Scott over and have a conversation and see exactly what is going through his head and why he was with this other girl. And, you know, does he want to work it out with Eliana? So let's see how this plays out. Okay, but I'm gonna let her finish eating first. My girl is starving. Let's cook you up some eggs and bacon. I'm trying to stop her from eating so much junk food, so we're gonna be focused on cooking. Go ahead, get your food, girl. Just look at her little face. Hello. Leave the domain. And she only got $39 in cash anyway. She still got a little bit of money in savings. Oh, and then she goes to work tonight. I completely forgot about that. Her first day of babysitting is... Okay, we're not even going to look at the school grades. Just ignore that. Okay, so that starts at 6 tonight. Hopefully, hopefully she's up to going. I don't know. She got a lot on her mind right now. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like living on her own is just like not best for her, but she doesn't really have a choice. Okay, let's clean that up. I know, mama. Come on, let's get to moving, please. Okay, let's get her ready for the day and then we'll have her call Scott. Okay, okay, get done with that. Let's brush your teeth. Okay. And let's take a quick shower. Let's just get her all prepared and ready for the day. Okay, let's have her take her shower. And honestly, okay, so I bought her like this little uh, meditation little stool, right? So I think I'm really going to have her come over here and meditate before she calls Scott. So maybe she could get in a, a good mindset before talking to him because she's pregnant I really don't want her stressed out I want her to stay as calm as she can be but okay and y'all always see her in like different outfits because she goes shopping when she's stressed okay that's why her money is like extremely low okay we gonna let we gonna let my girl get some zens going Hopefully, hopefully this will calm her down. And then when she's done, she's going to be in the right frame of mind. We're going to call Scott. We're going to keep an open mind about the situation because she still wants to be with Scott. She just doesn't know if Scott wants to be with her. But she feels like he still does. He's just acting out because he's scared um, of what's to come in this pregnancy. And that, you know, so... He, she just feels like he's not going to throw two years of them, almost three, almost three. She just feels like she did that. They're not, he's not going to throw all of that away. Like they was together ninth and 10th grade year. Now they're in the 11th grade and it's almost their third year anniversary. Not quite, but she just feels like he's not going to throw 
throw that away. Okay, girl. She is like, she is calm. I don't know. I feel like we need to be quiet too so we don't interrupt her. I don't know. But she needs this. She needs this. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to have her finish. I'm not going to have her do it in the whole time. Like it's already one o'clock. I am about to go ahead and have her call. Okay. Let's have her invite Scott. Okay, let's have her invite Mr. Scott over. Okay, I think that was enough meditation. I think we should be good. And I think she should be good. So, let's keep it going. Come on, girl. There we go. Okay, let's have her call. <laughs> oh, my beast. How you listening? Oh, we'll be Zara. Applin. Okay, so Scott will be right over. We need to go ahead and unlock our door. And let's change out of our workout gear and put our clothes back on. Uh, let's change outfit. That one's fine. That's what we had on earlier. Okay. All right, let's invite him in. And let's see what is going to happen. I'm going to take control of him too. So I'll be able to better handle this conversation. Okay, so. And he's feeling very flirty. Wow. All right. Come on, Scott. You sit down there. And Eliana, let's just have you sit down here. And let's ask him what is happening. Like. No. Okay, mention having trust issues. Like, do y'all really? Y'all are not going outside to talk about that. Like, get in here. They are stressing me out. Like, why are y'all going outside to talk about this? That makes no sense to me. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, let's mention having trust issues. Are they? S oh. Are y'all kidding me? Are they? They couldn't, this is not the time to make up. Like, we don't even, I feel like Scott is just using us right now. Eliana, be smart. Eliana, be smart. Be smart right now, girl. Just, oh, golly. This was not the time to do that after he was just with somebody else. In your face. It's not the time to do that, girl. Oh, that's because I'm on her. Okay. See, they got now they got me all like just razzled. They just they just got me all razzled. And apparently I can't mention having trust issues. <laughs> because when I mention having trust issues, that's what they did. So we're not going to do that. Okay. All right, so I am. I think we need to re threaten to break up. Yeah, we need to threaten to break up with him for him oh. doing that to us. So, Brana, Epso, Ina, like, oh, her grief. Yaba, that is not something that we want to deal with. Like, we've been together this long. This is not the time to act out when I'm pregnant. When Eliana's pregnant. Y'all know what I mean. Snasna, Girja. Yabanish. Dorne? Uh, Weibo. Like, this is not right. Pixel Gloon. Go away. 
Snurs Fuest. 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 Snurs Killing like, you. I feel like he should be the Very one to apologize. Very like, but he's still, like, I don't understand why he's north. sitting here with... I don't know. I still don't think she forgave him. I really don't. Uh, who are you? Go away. Look how he look. <laughs> he like, how dare she not forgive me? Like, Really? No, I, I don't think Eliana is ready. Apologize. Eliana. Eliana, we cannot do that. But yeah, look how Scott is looking at her. He's like, excuse me? Oh, Arfin will do. And then he gets on the phone. What is this? In pain. Ouch. That certainly didn't feel good for Scott. He will have a bruise for a couple of days. Straighten up your act. Scott needs to make an effort. What is it? Stop talking, Scott. Okay, so it says Scott needs to make an effort if he wants his relationship to go back to normal. To avoid more trouble and perhaps a breakup, he had better start romantically engaging with other Sims. Or do it more secretly. Really? aggravating conversation feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation because of you your sims need a better fashion advice before they attempt to dress themselves next time <laughs> okay and like who who are you on the phone with i feel like she's lost all trust like he's over here smiling while he's on the phone so why why are you on the phone yeah, brush him off. Like, why is why is he on the phone? Sydney Sarbzo. His spy is starting to. Yeah, you want to be on the phone while we're sitting here having a serious conversation? No, that's not how this is going to work, Scott. I'm sitting here trying to figure things out with you, but you j and you want to cry? You want to cry? No, this is not how this works. Like, she's still upset, and I don't think she's going to put his, put her hands on him. But you need to yell at him. He needs to get his act together. I I said yell. I said yell. Where did it go? It's game night. What? Why is my sister always over here? Go and yell at Scott. Now you want to do your homework? No. Now it's not the time. Where is my sister? There she is. Like, it's not game night, Gabriella. I'm sorry. We're busy right now. She's like, how could you do this to me? I'm right in my face. Scott is like, listen, maybe we're just going too fast. Like... I don't know. I wasn't expecting any of this, Eliana. Like, I wasn't expecting to have a baby. And now we are. I wasn't expecting all of this. I thought that we were going to be together throughout all of school, go to college, and then maybe one day have a baby if we were still together. But I wasn't expecting all of this. Like, ask, like, you know how guys are. What do you mean? What is your problem? Uh-huh. It's like, what is your problem? This is not what I want. It just happened, okay? I didn't mean to hurt you. Why don't you just leave me alone? I'm furious enough with you already. End of conversation. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like he's going to tell her, why don't you just go away? Like, you're the one that's turning this into nothing. It was a simple kiss. It meant absolutely nothing. And you're just making it more than what it is. She's just like, I don't understand how you could do this to me, Scott. I really don't. In my second trimester, we have so much planned that we have to do together and you do this. Scott is like, I, I get that. Like I said, I didn't mean to hurt you, but... I didn't think that we would move this fast. I wasn't expecting a baby. I wasn't expecting a baby in the 11th grade. And this is just a lot to, he's like, this is just a lot to take in. 
Eliana. And I don't know what to do from here. Like, I feel like, I'm gonna be like, I love you, I love the baby, but I just feel like this is moving too fast. Did, he, did she tell her, she told him no? Muska, Muska. Smurgs, huh, Renif, Rixel Kimba, Smine Thurzo, Roslapa, Eboya Plea for Staff. Oh my god. Eliana, okay, alright, she's getting too, she's getting too upset. We're gonna tell, we're gonna, we're gonna tell him to get out. They're not, they're not fisk fixing this. They have to go. Maybe. Uh, huh. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. Now, jeez, oh, it's six thirty-eight. Isn't she supposed to be at work? Oh my God. Is she late? That conversation went a lot late. Like, oh my God. Okay, she take an angry. <laughs> okay, so I don't think that Eliana and Scott are going to get over this. Oh my god, girl. I mean, I know you okay, she's late for work, so she she has to go. We have we have to go to work. Today's her first day. I don't well, she's already late, but I don't want her to be even later. So All right, my girl is off of work. We got a little extra money. Okay, but let's please change out. Let, let's change out of that, please. Yeah, but I don't think her and Scott is gonna is gonna make this work. It seems like they, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's gonna work out with them anymore. <laughs> Eliana has lost all trust, and it's like when Eliana loses trust, that's it. Let's um, girl, let's go and clean that. That that sink is terrible. So yeah, I don't know if she'll be able to trust them anymore. At this point, I don't know. Why are you still here, Gabriella? Gabriella, please go home. Why is she always here? Like we're really gonna have to take our key. And then why is she getting in the Eliana? I mean, Gabriella. <laughs> I have to go. It was nice seeing you. Call me later. Whatever, Gabriella. Goodbye. Dang. Okay. Let's get you to the bathroom. Um, we're going to have to have our dinner at our parents' house a little early tomorrow because she has to be at work at 6. So we may have to change it from dinner to like a brunch or something because I really don't want her late again so I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna let her get a good night's sleep and then we will catch up again tomorrow at her parents house Snurs with Pampa. Oh. Oh. okay guys so Eliana decided to come to her parents house really early today hopefully <laughs> to help her yes, mom get everything yes, settled. She told her mom that she has to be at work at six, so her mom agreed to move um, everything up to about one o'clock. And then they'll just have like a lunch instead of a dinner. So I'm gonna take control of Emerson so she could go ahead and get um, started on cooking. Okay, so let's have her come in here and let's cook something really good. Um, it doesn't have to be dinner related now, but um, I mean, I guess we could still do fried fish. Let's, no, 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 oh, my, my bad. I think I hit four when I really meant to hit a party size. 
Uh, so let's find the fried fish again. That was the fish taco. Here we go. And then let's do the party size. Okay, so we're going to have her to do that. We're going to have Eliana come in here and just clean out these dishes for her mom. But of course, she doesn't want to do anything but sit in here and watch TV. <laughs> come on, girl. Alright, so we're going to have Eliana go ahead and do that for her mom. Let's get that clean. All right. Does anything else need to be clean? Nope. Eliana. Didn't I? T yeah. What did I tell her to do? All right. Let's. Um. I should have got. Matter of fact, let's. Okay. Let's get you together. Let's have you come over here and have a seat. Eliana, I literally just told you to clean up and you come out here to eat. Like, and you in the rain. I, <laughs> I can't wear her, I swear. <sighs> yeah, I think she is so missing her house. Let's see, have they turned, because they said the shit they was, okay, they haven't done it yet. Her parents said they was going to turn Eliana room into the nursery. Doesn't look like they've done that yet. So, I don't know what they're going to do with her bed. I mean, since they wouldn't let her bring it with her. But, I mean, whatever. Okay, so, no, you're not putting on makeup. What? Come have a seat. All right, let, let's talk to our mom and tell her everything that has happened between her and Scott and how she thinks that they basically broke up and how things just are not going well. Huh. <laughs> is that the... Is he not? Baby, where, where is he? Oh, but... <laughs> I don't see him. She's like, you cannot believe. Oh, I went to the festival Stay with my here. friends. I just yeah, wanted to clear my hands. head, and I see Scott over there making Brain out you. with some girl. Sparf. Sparf a pivna? Mama. Mama's well, like, I told you, pregnancy brings a lot on a couple. It's not easy. I was. This is what I was trying to prepare you for, Eliana. You just thought yeah, I was being mean she, and rude. Say? Emerson, Come she's in. really trying to have a conversation with you, girl. Why are you... <laughs> Child. <laughs> Emerson just will not get her life together. I don't, I don't understand why. And then she gets up and literally just walks away. Griffin, new play. Eliana, no ma'am. Buffalo Nardu. <laughs> Sukuni Lazar. Okay, come over here and have a seat. Oh my god, I know that they're gonna eat this food. I forgot to get um the the pantry shelves and put it in her mom's house. So I know that they're gonna eat it, which is fine. I'll just have Emerson make something else. Okay, so it's eleven. I think um people should start arriving soon because. It starts at 1, but I want them to come a little earlier just to sort of talk and um, things like that. Matter of fact, let me stop controlling Scott real quick. Okay, don't control him. Okay, Eliana. Baby, did you ever clean out what I wanted you to clean out here? No, you did not. Can you not do it since you don't live here no more? <laughs> Does your mama, like, not want you touching anything? Is that the problem? Okay, I'm going to have Eliana go ahead and call uh, Samaya, Scott Singer, and Scott on over. 
Eliana, you just doing too much moving for me, honey. On the steps? You had, you had to be on the steps? Okay, go ahead and get Scott over here. And we're going to get Scott Sr. over here, too. Why is Scott Sr. not showing up for her? That's weird. Notification. Okay. All right, let's clear out our wall. Yes, the dinner party will start soon. What is this? An acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer. Becoming disliked is a slippery slope. Girl. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so um, Emerson, you know them. Okay, let's have her get um, Scott Singer over here. Oh, they are so sweet. Eliana is like, I cannot do this, uh, my Miss Samaya. My back is killing me. Okay, so does Scott like decide school is stupid? I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Girl, you have to. <laughs> okay, there goes Scott Jr. I mean, Scott Sr. So where? So is Scott not going to come? Is he not coming? Like seriously? Okay, let's call him again. Let's call him again and um see what he says. I think I didn't see it because my I had cleared out my notific I mean my notification wall was full. <laughs> Scott would rather not Wow So Scott isn't even going to come to the dinner anymore Wow Just eat your food Eliana We're going to have Emerson come in here Yeah so we're going to have Emerson come in here And yeah. Yeah, we're going to have them talk He was like, can you believe they're having this baby? And now they're breaking up? Like, what is this? Gavin is like, I know, I know. Well, Eliana really thought that Scott would be here. Like, that sucks. Okay. Emerson is like, so how are you feeling about our kids being pregnant <laughs> and having this baby come? Like, look at she. Famous band trip, Shufflet. Oh, Samaya's like, we just gonna have to do what we gotta do to help him. Look at Samaya calling Scott, trying to figure out where is he. Scott is like, Mom, I'm not coming. Me and Eliana have a terrible fight. I think we're pretty much not together anymore, so I don't want to be around her right now. Samaya's like, Oh my God, I cannot believe these kids. What? Samaya, don't play. Let. Actions, control sim. Uh, thank you for calling me. Oh, so she called Mason too to talk some sense into Mason with about Scott. Yeah. Uh, why does she need to take Good child? Is somebody going in that bathroom? Oh, okay, he's going in that bathroom. Okay, that's okay. They got another one. They have another one. Come and. What is this? I know Scott's mama is not child. I mean, but hey, she grown, so she, she can be. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Let's see. Um, hello? 
Hello? Hello? <laughs> what? Did that really have to take? <laughs> did she really have to go in here? Oh my god, Scott's mama is pregnant, y'all. I cannot. I can't. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Okay. <laughs> Eliana's like, okay, congratulations. <laughs> oh my god okay well eliana is extremely upset that scott is not here she just feels awkward being here now and she really needs to figure out exactly what is happening so okay so we had to bring her home because she was acting all crazy all right let's have you go to the bathroom i don't want you to use it on yourself girl and then maybe scott will come here i don't know Okay, let's see if Scott will come here and then. Okay, work for her starts in an hour or two. Okay, Scott would rather not come. You know what? We are about to um, call Mason over. Mason was Eliana's friend before he was Scott's, so we just really need. We. Okay, we don't have time to repair that, so just replace it right now. Okay, so Mason's going to come over because we need someone to talk to. And Mason was Eliana's best friend before he was ever even Scott's friend. So, everybody's coming to check on her. It's so sweet, though. It's so sweet. Okay, let's ask um, him how's his day. We all need to come and sit and chat here. Why are y'all in the... Okay, now y'all can come on in here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Not all at once. Not, not through the bathroom wall. <laughs> Same. Okay. Disney? So Disney she's just really gonna talk out her feelings and how everything's been going between her and Scott. She's gonna ask for some advice. Cause she just does not know what to do. Eliana's a bit occupied right now. Should she still go to work? Um, let's take PTO. Oh, Mason is like, I know it's a lot. It's like, well, I mean, maybe you guys shouldn't work it out right now. You're still young. You need to be worried about making money to get ready for your baby. And then I was like, I know, but we've been together so long, Mason. Let's appreciate Mason for coming over in here in her house. You're really great, Mason. Mason, like, you know I got your back. Like, but you gotta get yourself together. No, 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 no. Come sit down. Mason, will you little cute self? Okay. All right, y'all, y'all my best friends yet? Yes, y'all need to be best friends. I thought y'all were already best friends, but I mean, I guess not. Huh. She's like, you're always there for me, Mason. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Mason's like, you know. Love you like a sister, Eliana. You know that. They talk about any and everything. They have such a good friendship. Yes, ask him how his family is. The boy? <laughs> He's like, let's just get to the point. <laughs> just like, and how's your mom? Like, you know how she is. 
Emka Harp Dolphus. Saboma Nukem, Bibwa, Parsafe, Yebel Pwemp, Norbs. Eliana's just tired. Eliana, no, baby. You cannot. Oh, uh, you need to eat, though. So let's um, have her come over here and cook some food. Maybe everybody's hungry. So um, hopefully she doesn't mess this up. <laughs> She got a little bit of cooking skills, so hopefully she does not mess this up. It's this little bump, though, for me. Like, it's the little curve of a bump that she's getting now. It's so cute. Okay, so let's have her do that. And then I, you know what? I'm just going to say it. I, I... I think her and Scott has broken up. Scott won't even come to her house. He won't come to her parents' house. He won't even talk to her. So it's like, what else is there? Like y'all are broken up. He just, he just won't say it. So Eliana is saying it. They're not together. They're not together. They've broken up. So they're just now going to have to work on how to get through having this baby and being enemies right now but I mean they still have plenty of time to get their act together and when I say get their act together I mean get their act together and like be good co-parents not um you know be together because I just feel like Scott has lost all of them Eliana's trust and I don't know I don't think that'll that'll come back so easy Okay, let's have her eat that. If anybody else wants to eat, they can. Um, we're going to let Mason stay over as long as he wants. He can go home when he wants. And look like Gabriella is, well, Gabriella's gone for now. Okay. So, if he wants to stay the night, he can sleep on the couch or he could go home. These two. They still sitting here talking. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and clean that up, girl. Let's not keep that in your inventory. I need to go and get her some pregnancy uh, pictures taken. I really wanted to wait until she's able to accept this pregnancy though so it'll be like real and then okay let's put that away <laughs> and then let's put that away what else does she need to do to what else does she need to do to be able to accept this pregnancy like is um Okay, so I think I'm just going to have her, like, go to a birthing class and then go to counseling again later on in her pregnancy. And then she will be able to accept it, hopefully. She doesn't want to know what she's having. Remember, that's going to be a secret. So when we have the baby shower, it will be all neutral colors. Um, hopefully her mom or either her sister will plan it for her. I have to go feed my cow plant. I will see you later. Okay, Mason is leaving. That's fine. Okay, girl, before you go to sleep, can we please just get one more little meditation in? No, 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 no. Let's just get one more little meditation in. Just to calm you down because you're still really upset and really stressed out and we don't need that for you. And it's raining. This is like a perfect time. That rain should be like just have her so freaking calm right now. Okay, you guys, I think right there is a perfect spot to end this episode. We will be back next week to figure out exactly what is going to happen between Scott. Well, we know what is going to happen between Scott and Eliana. They're not together. You know, that things just are not working out 
between them, Scott has lost, I mean, Eliana has lost all trust for Scott. She cannot believe that he would do that to her, especially when she's pregnant. Um, and Eliana really just does not tolerate things like that. You know, she will do her little fun stuff with Scott possibly, but being in a relationship is just something that she does not see working with her and Scott anymore because of what he did. They've been together, like I said, three, pretty much, we can say three years and he's never cheated on her. And now when he, well, that Eliana knows of, (laughs) and now that she's pregnant and she's trying to take this next step in her life and try her best to get her life together the best way she can, he pretty much is kicking her when she's down. Um, But thank God she has people like her sister and Mason, you know, in her corner that she could go and talk to her friends. Her friends, of course, don't know everything yet, but she does have good people in her corner that she can go to and rely on when she really needs that you know, that that shoulder to cry on. But anyway, as always, I will be back next week with a brand new episode. In order for you to know exactly when and what time I will post, please hit that subscribe button, hit the post notification bell and hit the like button. It would really help me just hit that like button. It is for free. It don't cost you anything. Just please hit the like button. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And it will help my channel continue to grow. And I will see you all I will see you all next week with a brand new episode. Bye, guys.